Hey there Science 2 kiddos. So for our walking the solar system activity, you're going to need nine objects to represent the sun, uh, the sun and the eight planets. So I've got a really big ball here for the sun. Uh, and then I've got a couple, you're going to want like three pretty large ones for the outer planets. And I've got some smaller little things in here. It's just marbles and little toy balls and stuff. Uh, if you don't have any balls at home though, uh, you can use other objects. It's okay. You can use food items. Uh, honestly, you could use anything, and you don't have to be size specific either, unless you want to. I think it's a little more fun. So, uh, and you should have your paper roll with you. I haven't made one. Um, I did that digitally, but I have my distances noted here. These are in astronomic, uh, astronomical units, measuring the distance of each planet from our sun. And so, we are going to treat our feet, so your heel to toe, as one astronomical unit. And so, you should go outside to find. Um, I'm out here on Wilson Field. Uh, to either find a straight area where you can walk heel to toe 40 paces actually uh, ends up being about 30 paces uh, in total and um, or you can find an indoor space where you can do that if you can't uh, if you don't have that kind of space then um, try chopping these distances in half it won't quite be as accurate or fun but uh, you should still be able to do it so all right here's what's gonna happen we're gonna place our Sun as our starting line here so there's my Sun and then we're gonna start walking the planets out. Uh, a lot happens right on the first step. So again, you wanna place your heel right up against the back of the sun there. And now, as you can see, the distance is here. Um, at, on my foot here, I'm gonna say that, okay, uh, Mercury is about the 0 0.4 mark, so that's just shy halfway up my foot, I'd say, right there. Uh, and then we've got Venus at the 0 0.7 mark. I'm gonna guess that's about there. And then Earth, I'm gonna make a little basketball. Actually, um, let's go with a little blue ball here. Uh, there's my Earth right at my toe, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna take the second foot, and step right here, heel to toe. So this is the second astronomical unit, roughly. And we can see that Mars is about the 1.5 mark. So that's about there, right? So that's one, two. Uh, now we need to go and place uh, Jupiter, which is going to be nice and big at the 5.2 marks. That's two, three, four, five. So uh, I'm going to say Jupiter is pretty big. So I'm going to put that there at the 5.2 mark, roughly. Hopefully the wind won't blow these around. Um, and then we're going to go to nine. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Saturn is at the 9.5 mark. I'm gonna guess that's about there. And then this is where things get crazy. So, all right. Saturn really wants to roll away. That's fine. Uh, all right, and now we're going to Uranus, or Uranus, at 19.2. So we're at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19.2, uh, so I'm going to put that there, and finally Neptune at 30, so that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and there's Neptune. Alright, and now, for your video, all you need to do is just, you can set it up, you don't have to show how you did it, um, I'm just demonstrating for you. All you need to do is walk along your planet line. Um, either backwards or forwards, doesn't matter to me. I'll start with the backwards, uh, or going from the sun out. So there's the sun, and please just name each planet as you go. So I've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, all representing, and you can see why we call them the inner planets. They're all pretty close. And then the next one is Jupiter, Saturn, and then a huge jump to Uranus or Uranus, and finally Neptune. And it really shows you the kind of crazy spacing that we see in our solar system. So um, have fun, place objects out, and uh, remember to post your video. If a flip grid doesn't work for you, then just email the video to me. Thanks.